keep the computers in the room. Um, but I need to show you the controls and everything. So I'd like you to come up in small groups and I will show you the controls and how to work with a computer. Uh, how many have worked with computers and projectors before? No hands, okay. Uh, don't worry about this, it's going to be very easy. Uh, so let's get everybody on this side of the room, come on up. Now first, this is going to be one of the most technical rooms that you'll run into. All of the rooms are different, but these four rooms here have a projector screen. This is how you control the projector and the uh, screen, on and off. That's basically all you need to do. Uh, off takes the screen, shuts the projector down, takes the screen up. On reverses the process. So you just need to make sure the projector's on and that uh, the screen is down. Uh, you know how to hook up a computer. There will be computers that uh, Cotisol provides for each room. We will be using these notebook computers or the presenter's computer, not this computer. Okay. Um, I'll have you hook this up. Okay? I'll try it. Very good. Okay. Uh, there, on this one, there is no screws, but that's good. Okay. How about the mouse? Very good. Okay. How about the sound? As in, we need to make this go to the room speaker. <laughs> is this one, <laughs> obviously. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Very good. Uh, is that the video? No, no that, that's for a different type of device. Okay. Okay, are you plugging it in the headphones or are you plugging it in the microphone? Microphone. Okay. I don't know where that is. No, no, this, this is for, you have to plug this into the headphone outlet. Oh. And so, but there are two outlets here. Right? No, it's one. Oh, all right, there's yeah. one. Okay. So, you've hooked it up and it should work. Um, now, I just restarted the projector, so it's going to take a while to come up, but don't worry about that. Now, if we can't get anything on the screen, what do you do? You got it? I don't know which one. <laughs> okay. I think it's using the display screen resolution part. That's correct. But from that part, I get confused. So. Okay. Um, well, Windows is confusing, so... <laughs> Uh, we'll work with this. Um, you can go in and the way it is supposed to work with Windows 7 is you right click on the screen or on the desktop, right click, go down to screen resolution and then there should be a line here connect to a projector and then you can say duplicate screen and it will go through its thing and we're supposed to see it through the uh, projector screen. Um, Windows right now is misbehaving on my system. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, there will be on the desktop screen of every single computer we provide a Cotisol PPT or a test PPT. It's going to be a test PowerPoint um, for you to use and you'll just double click on it, make sure that you have sound, make sure that you have video on the screen and on the computer and when that's all set and ready to go, great. 
If you have any problems beyond that, give technical a call. Call your manager. They'll get a radio call to us, and we will be here as soon as we can. Our response times are usually within three to five minutes. Um, tell the presenter that you have called technical support and they are on the way. Because a lot of presenters, they get in front of this great big crowd and they can't get their tech to work and <gasps> they panic. But if you tell them your job is to help them keep calm and uh, you're kind of the MC of the room. Uh, so you help them keep calm, you keep them relaxed, tell them there's help on the way. Now one of the things I have not gone over is the audio box. This is the audio box and here you have various volume controls for your microphone one, microphone two, they plug in here. So if the speaker has a microphone that he wants to use, they plug in here. And you control this. Uh, of course power has to be on. Uh, the PC is here and that's for this cable here. Okay. okay, so if you can't get audio, check the volume volume level on the computer and also check this volume level. Okay. If you've done both of these, you have problems, give us a call. Okay. Now, somewhere in the podium, probably in this drawer, will be a device like this. This is what we're using to provide the internet for our presenters this year. This, uh, for any of you who haven't seen it, this is a KT egg. Uh, it communicates to the KT networks wirelessly and then it makes a wireless signal that the notebook can connect to. It will probably be in this drawer. It just needs to be plugged in and we need a green light, a green battery light on it. It'll be plugged into this USB cable here and the drawer will probably be closed. Um, we want to, these are very easily stolen so we don't want them out where everybody's seeing them. Um, these are provided to us this year by KT, um, and uh, we're going to try them for the first time this year. Uh, there will be, each one of these has its own code that we will give you on a little note, a post-it note that we'll put right here on the podium or on the notebook or somewhere that you can give to the presenter so that he can, if he brings his own computer, that he can connect to this egg and get uh, internet for his presentation. Um, that's pretty much everything I've got to say about tech. Any questions? Um, like, for instance, if there's like a technical problem, like the PowerPoint doesn't come for like a like couple minutes, will there be kind of like an, a handout for the audience of the um, person's lecture? That depends on the presenter. That's a very good question. That depends on the presenter. Cotisol does not provide handouts for uh, other than the conference book. Oh, okay. So it's the actual speaker's um, choice. Job. Actually. Yeah, if, if, the, if the speaker has handouts, the speaker has to bring enough handouts for everybody. Okay. A very good question. Anything else? Okay. Uh, basically, you are a front line of support for the speaker. In years past, the volunteers have done a wonderful job. And I think you will do the same thing. You will all do a wonderful job this year. Um, our, our Cotisol Conference, and I will thank you in advance, our Cotisol Conference. The first people that most of our speakers see is going to be the room monitors. The people that they will interact with probably the most will be the room monitors. And every year, the room monitors have made Cotisol Conference. You have made the conference what it is. We have one of the best conferences in all of Asia. So, thank you very much for your help, and that's technical. Thank you. Thank you very much.